All right, uh, this is the update to uh, the Shield Portable. Uh, it's Lollipop, uh, something I thought you'd never see on the Shield Portable. Um, <clears throat> uh, so far, I've not really had too many problems with it. A uh, couple things that are an issue is that uh, NVIDIA button on the physical NVIDIA button on the device is now launches Google Now. So I press it right now and uh, yeah, it doesn't have access to the microphone because I'm using it for this recording. <laughs> um, but it launches Google Now instead of the Shield Hub which kind of stupid for me at least because I don't use Google Now at all. So, especially not on, uh, on this, but I really like the feature of having that launch the Shield Hub, and it doesn't do that. So, it stopped doing that. It used to. Uh, also, some of the buttons make that stupid no clicking noise. That. So, the, the physical buttons, the home, back, start, uh, and, or play and volume button, make that clicky noise and that could be annoying that never did that before so it's a little annoying also we have here the the uh... what is it the chromecast mirroring feature here and uh... it won't bring up it won't find your actual uh... chromecast it can't find it, so you have to download the Chromecast app to mirror your screen. So it supports uh, the Chromecast mirroring, but it's just that you have to download an app instead of on the like on the tablet. I can just pull down like I did before, tap on that icon, and it'll find the Chromecast and mirror my screen. But with this, it's not; it doesn't find it. Um, also, Miracast has been taken, it's stripped right out. It, you can't use it anymore if you update. So, so if, you, if Miracast is really important to you, um, it doesn't work. <laughs> so they wrote that in the notes that you won't be able to use it anymore. Um, so I remember when Google said that that was their standard. They were like, they couldn't figure out what their standard was, was going to be, but Miracast is it. And then, like, a, in a hot minute later, <laughs> yeah, just a little bit later, they were like, oh, no, you know what? It's not. It's uh, Chromecast. Yeah. But luckily, it seems like uh, Chromecast is actually going to be a true standard and not just one of those stupid things where, oh, yeah, this is our standard. No, this is. No, that is. Anyways, that has nothing to do with the update. That's just me rambling. Um... So, also a couple things that don't work. Uh, well, one thing that at least just doesn't work. Uh, Sonic 4 Episode 2, which used to be bundled with the ROM, is no longer in here because it just doesn't work. It crashes. Uh, that does free up some space for you, so if you're not rooting, you get to have some space freed up for games. However, if... Like me, that game you thought was really good and always installed it, you know, if you like that game, you can't use it anymore. Um, you may be able to use the regular version, but not the, the THD version, the Tegra version. I haven't tried the other version. <laughs> um, so if you install it, it'll just crash. So what else? Then there's, you can't use the Android browser anymore. It doesn't work. And they've also uninstalled, um, see I just brought up the page here so I can read it, and I then dropped it down and got rid of it. Um, so the game that, oh, Expandable Rearmed doesn't work either. Um... But yeah, so let's see what else. So there, they got rid of. I guess you'll have to uninstall the old Twitch app 
you, so you'll be able to uninstall the old Twitch app, and you'll have a new Twitch app, and whatever. Um, I, I don't really care about that. It's, oh, by the way, to point out, I am not rooted, and right now I am able to record the screen. That's because of Lollipop. So if you have Lollipop on your device and you don't root your devices, um, you can now record your screen and broadcast it to Twitch. There's an app for that as well. Uh, Shao will let you to uh, this recording software that I'm using right now, which is free, called Shao.tv will allow you to actually stream to their Android gaming servers as well as there's this oh Jesus Christ this app uh, right next to the one next to YouTube um, called Screen Stream Mirroring that will let you stream your screen directly to Twitch so like tablet users you would be able to stream your screen to Twitch uh, as well as Ustream though you can use Ustream, YouTube few other things you can stream to browsers so like mirroring is supported with this application um, I don't know if this would actually allow you to stream to Miracast I don't know I don't think so no it wouldn't, wouldn't do that um, I've never seen anything like that uh, so 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 so, so. everything's so so other than that, uh, the, when you record your screen, you have to use mic audio, though. There's no permissions for uh, internal audio just yet on Android for non-root users. Um, there is a root method for this uh, version of the software. You have to use um, King Root, uh, the PC version, so you'll need a PC. You can't just have Android tablets and stuff and be PC-free, so you'll need all that stuff. Um, to root your device, um, yeah. I think I mentioned that uh, the uh, Android. Yeah, I mentioned that this the the Chrome uh, the, the yeah Chromecast doesn't show up, and you have to download uh, the uh, Chromecast application. You see, I have root apps on here. That's because I, I, I did actually flash this over a rooted uh, stock. Um, it worked fine. I didn't have to go through any hoops. They kept all the root apps on here, but then, of course, they don't work. If I launch them, they, they're just going to say that I cannot do anything, that I have no root. So, it's a really higher, blah, blah, blah. Issues, blah, blah, blah. Huh. I wonder if it'll actually let me do I had it one time where it would actually work. Just, even though I didn't have root access, I think I'd already granted it. Somehow it, it, it was, it, I had root apps working when I wasn't rooted once. Uh, let's see. Huh. Well, I don't have root, so... Let me, I'm going to download the uh, root check app. So you can see that I am not rooted. Uh, root checker. There you go. Um, the ROM is fairly smooth. Uh, I mean, I've seen people complaining uh, quite a bit. I've, I've seen people complain to the point where they're threatening violence on people in the area. Hey, damn you with the yeah, people have decided that it was worth violent threats over uh, an update. Um, and it says, sorry, root access is not properly installed on this device. So just to let you know that I'm not actually root. And here, of course, is the little card thing for from Android that... Uh, will be in iOS 9 soon. <laughs> Except for it's going to be a different, uh, I think it's going to be uh, what a vertical thing or some shit. Whatever, who cares. So there's that. Um, 
And so far, everything's okay. Uh, shield hub hasn't really changed. Same, same thing. games. Apparently they're not loading. I don't know. So let me I'm just gonna look at the uh, the notes here and the update notes. And there's not much really going on except for the lollipop update. They said there's a fix for a bug that doesn't allow books. You read in the Google Play Books app. Uh, apparently, if you're actually trying to read books on a little tiny gaming screen thing, you should be able to do that or something. Um, yeah, there's not much going on here. It's just you know takes certain features away, adds adds the Chromecast mirroring. Takes out some games and game support. Um, yeah, so it seems to take away more than it actually adds. However, if uh, YouTube is big for you, like I said, uh, or Twitch, uh, you don't have to root to um, do screen recording and stuff. But it's very possible you may want to skip out on this uh, update because you will lose support for quite a few things. Uh, I took the update because I like Lollipop, and uh, I don't know, I just like Lollipop, I don't know. <laughs> um, and I hate being outdated. Uh, so, there's that. Congratulations. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching.